what up guys welcome back to my channel thanks for watching so this is my medusa e stone look yes yes you could say so this is one of my halloween looks for this year so this is more of a like a snake's head opening its mouth towards you and a stone down here because she turns you to stone hope you guys do like it keep watching for more and the good stuff and don't forget to subscribe like hit that notification bell and i hope you guys enjoy this look all right guys so i i have my contacts on already um so i just skip that step i'm good to go so i am actually going to be using um a good amount of mayron products here in this video today because this is for the mayron 31 days of halloween contest so i have my mayron skin primp screen skin screen skin prep toner here so this is actually really good uh when you are applying on your your liquid makeup um from the Mayron palettes, um, it helps keep your skin oils from separating the makeup because it is water-based, so this is perfect for that. This is um, the Mayron bar Barrier Spray, so this is good for um, for the end. So this is like a little um, setting spray that they have available. And then this is a Mayron Mixing Liquid, so this is perfect for any glitters, um, colors that you want to make into um, a liquid mixture. So it's really nice that uh, you can use this. And then I also have the Mayron makeup palette here. This is the big, baby, 120 color palette. Ah. That looks like this, and I've already dipped into it a little bit. And I'm gonna be using this one today. So I am actually gonna be using the skin prep first before I lay down my color. Make sure my skin is nice and clean. Right now, I'm actually going to be sketching out um, what I want to do on my face. So I'm going to use this silver eyeliner here, and I'm kind of going to map out my structure, my contour of the face, and then we're going to go from there. So I am. I want this to be looking like a snake's head. I'm just gonna lightly draw this on here. So I'm kind of using this to kind of like sculpt the face. So from here up, just really lightly drawing this on. And so I want this to look more like a snake's head. So naturally your hand on this side of your right hand it, like will easily go straight and then this side kind of tends to run outward just because the movement of our hands. So I'm just using this as a guideline. So I have it here really super lightly drawn on down my my beauty here. off with my finger the direction I want it to go it's a little difficult when it comes to the opposite side okay. this is going the top of the heads the heads the snake's head and then this part I want to do more of a stony look so we'll see we'll see what it's gonna look like from here on out so I'm gonna take the Mayron Gigantor palette and I'm gonna use the brightest yellow that they have in here. This yellow right here. Another thing I just realized what I forgot to do is I am I am gonna be raising my eyebrows, so I totally forgot to do that first. So let's actually do that before we put a get. So I'm just going to take some glue and I'm going to push this upwards like so to kind of just make them disappear. Put a nice good thick layer right on top of the brow. 
like so. Now we're good to go. I made this a lot more vibrant. Pack on that color. And now I'm just gonna go like this, just to texturize it. Anytime your color starts to come off, all I did it was dip, dip your brush back into the water and then put the paint right back on top. It's just your brush starts to get dry and it starts picking up all the color. Just dabbing that on all over the place. So I'm dabbing it just to kind of give it like texture. That way, since it is uneven, the color naturally, it just gives the look a little bit more realistic vibes. And that way you're not having to constantly try to smooth everything out on your own. So I'm actually going to the white instead. A little too much water on it. It's okay. to give it texture since it's going to be uneven anyways and I want this to be like texturized anyways so I know you've been trying to make it smooth So now that we have our snake head, just picture a snake head coming towards you. I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35B palette. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it's one of their super duper colorful palettes from Morphe. I'm gonna be using this fluffy brush to give me some contour to my face. So I'm just gonna take that, take the I'm gonna use the green color here and then I'm gonna pack it on to the face. Right here. Right on the edge. It's okay if it doesn't blend because we'll blend everything out later. up here in your hairline. I think I might need a bigger brush for this. Oh goodness. It's okay. Just basically drawing all of this out really quickly. I'm just gonna start blending this out and bringing it inwards. Buff it out. You can't no more see how that's like starting to blend in completely with the yellow. Perfect. Just keep doing it till you can't till until you're satisfied. I feel like I look like from the creature from the Goo Lagoon. Love Halloween makeup. Oh, I live for this special effects. I actually wish I knew how to do more special effects, which I will hopefully one day. Hopefully one day soon. Sooner than you think. Sooner than I think. And I can show you guys even more stuff. So even up onto the nose. When I was like on the brush. Alright. 
So I'm gonna take the Melt Cosmetics Muerte palette, and I'm gonna use the gray color in it. I'm gonna use this gray right here. I'm gonna shade all this on right here. So this is gonna, this is what's gonna give it that 3D effect, like this nip likeness to it. <laughs> Lining all of this upwards, just down, just bring it down. Bring this down as well. All right, so let's work on the eyes now. Fluffy brush. I'm gonna take that same green color. And I am going to start to go into the crease line here and kind of just windshield wiper it and then bring it upwards. Just want to pack the color on and like bring it into the brow area so we can kind of blend that out with the brows. And then bring this downwards. I'm going to bring it into the corner of the eye. Kind of give it like a mean look. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that green, whatever's left in the brush, and I'm just gonna buff it down, kind of like to contour my nose a little bit. Cool. Just like that. I'm taking the Melt Cosmetics, Melt Cosmetics Cultura Gel Eyeliner. So it's like an orangey color. I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm gonna use this to sculpt out the lid. Even though it's orange, you can go back in over it with gold, so it's okay. Or whatever color you want. But I'm just using this as my base, basically, <laughs> to create a cut crease type of look. I want this to be a little bit sharper because of the fact that the way a snake's eyes basically are. The cut crease is just perfect for it. Just blend in the salt lines. That way it goes perfect. Don't forget, look up to see where it stamps. It lines up perfectly. I'm gonna use the Suva Hydra Gel, no, Hydra Liner, not Gel Liner. Suva Hydra Liner. I'm going to take that same brush and I'm just dip it into some water here. So this is water activated as well. A good amount of water to mix all that up. And I'm just going to bam, put it right on to where that is. Where I did the cut crease. Just like that. So, so now I'm going to take that gray color from the melt palette using a flat brush and I am going to go into the crease a little bit here just to kind of create depth I should have did earlier but it's okay I'll just go back over the liner the gold Just darkening it up now. I'm just blending all of that out. So you want to do a, a really good blend, just take that same green brush, whatever's left on there, and then just blend these two together. Just like marry them. So I did a little bit of a redo here. Letting all of this back out. I'm gonna use this 
pretty vulgar black gel eyeliner and I'm using it to draw on my skin it's along with a skinny little liner brush. All right, so I went in off camera and I already did the scales all over my face. I just took it up a little bit higher here and I took it all the way up to the forehead on both sides just for the sake of the speed of the process. Um, so I did put a little bit on my nose and then on the inner part here to kind of give it a like, different, like instead of just scales all over. Now I want to go back in and shade some of the scales so kind of give it a 3D effect a little bit. I'm gonna take this teeny tiny little brush here. So I'm, I'm gonna use the white on this Morphe palette here. So I'm just gonna go right in like every other, so. And just tap some white on in there. This is gonna give that it that real effect of scales that you want in your look. And you're just gonna do that all over wherever you have some scales at. So you can kind of see a little bit closer how I'm doing this exactly. Remember, if it ever fades out any of your color, you can just go back and shade it a little bit darker. And you're good to go. So with this eyeliner brush, I'm going to take some of that black. Actually, I'm going to take some of that gray. I don't want it to be too dark. Take some of that gray color. So I'm going to use that gray and I'm just going to dab it right in here. Same thing when I do with white. So I'm just dabbing this in certain areas. Not all of them. Like how I did with the white. Even if you need to, if you feel like some of the lines have disappeared, it's fine. You can always go back and then just make them a little bit more clearer with that liner. Now I'm going to take that green again and then go back in to the green, Mix, making some of them a little bit more greener, certain areas. So I actually started doing the eyeliner on this side and I'm doing it on this side now. So you want to give it that like slither like look. So I'm doing a wing. A wing liner. So I am gonna give it a edge to it on the very front, or like a little, like almost like a fox eye to it. So I'm gonna bring this down right here. I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Ink Incredible. Incredible liner. Fill this out right here. And I just smudge it. I'm gonna smudge it out. And I'm gonna use that green. And go back in right here. That same green I've been using all over. Just kind of smudge this out. Then now I'll go back in with the black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take these spooky lashes, they all fell off already. Put those on right there. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now that I have lashes on, I put them on top and bottom just for a little bit of zzz, pizzazz. Now that that is done, I'm gonna draw like um, the open part of the mouth with this silver pencil. I'm gonna draw in the teeth. I'm just kind of just like always on the right here. All right, so my battery died. So I had to let it charge. Um, so I had to jump ahead a little bit. And I kind of created the mouth here, did some shading with some pink and black and gray. And then I just created some lines to kind of give it like the effect of it like mouth being open. Now I'm just going in and shading some green here. So taking that same gray black brush whatever and I'm just buffing out here just to give a little bit of a contour. Give it a little bit of black. I'm gonna use the Take Me Back to Brazil and use the super green right here. There we go, much better. Much better. I take that black liner and kind of create some scales at the bottom here. Now I'm going to take that black liner gel, gel liner, the pencil, and I'm going to create some like little like cracks, almost like it's like broken stone. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a toothbrush and dip it in some water and just splatter gray all over the place. Some gray and white. And then just go right back over the spots that should be dark. Now I'm gonna take the gray with the liner pen. So like the liner brush. The gray with the liner brush. And then I'm just gonna repeat those areas where the cracks are.
Now I'm taking that gray and then just going those area, over those areas to kind of buffer them out. So I'm going to take these little snake pieces, these, these little snake eyes, and I'm going to glue them on to my chest with some eyelash glue. And that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i know it was really a long and it's really time consuming but um this is my medusa e stone look so stone here um, snake up here i hope you guys enjoy this look it's one of my favorites so far i really like it a lot love it